All right, we're live. Hey, folks, today we have some important news for YouTubers and music listeners alike. After Amazon announced Prime Music last week, YouTube is following suit by confirming its own paid music streaming service, which will debut sometime over the summer. The, mus the, the new music service will reportedly be called YouTube Music Pass. The service will require record labels of each artist to agree to YouTube's licensing deals, in which Universal, Warner, and Sony have already agreed to, but many indie record labels have not. YouTube's paid music service intends to block holdout labels videos within days. The ad-free service will allegedly allow users to download full albums for offline listening. The pricing details for this service have not been divulged, but it should be interesting to see how Google would integrate the service with Play Music All Access. With most labels coming out and stating that the royalty terms YouTube pr uh, proposed undercut what other streaming services like Spotify, Radio, and Rap City offer. Speaking to the Financial Times, Vice President and Global Head of Business at YouTube, Robert Kynical, stated that video content from indie labels will be blocked in a matter of days, should the labels not agree in, uh, to YouTube's uh, terms. He said that the signing. Uh, he said that the the signing, uh, huh? Okay, uh, let me let me restart that. He said that the signing all labels is not likely an achievable goal, and that the uh, dispute with all uh, the indie labels will not affect the launch of the service. Wow, sorry guys, this article they wrote didn't they didn't do too uh, too good of a job on writing this article. A source familiar with the matter revealed to Reuters that blocking certain music labels videos from appearing on YouTube's free website might be necessary in order to provide a consistent user experience for the paid services. It doesn't make much sense to have paid uh, subscribers if the same videos are already available for free. Now, most people that listen to music on YouTube are, you know, looking up uh, Drake, uh, Lil Wayne, um, Lady Gaga, Miley Cyrus. And I've actually got a couple friends that, you know, when they turn, when they go to music for their phone, they just go to YouTube and look up Vivo, for instance, and just, uh, you know, find their favorite artist and play it, play it from there. However, they're not going to be able to do that anymore. They're going to have to pay in order to listen. They're going to have to subscribe. Um, and, and Spotify already allows this. Spotify, Rap City, uh, Radio, like they said in the article here, they already allow that for free. So why would you want to uh, subscribe to YouTube's music? Pass or whatever they call it, in order to listen to music when you can get all the uh, all the music you can uh, all the music you want on uh, Spotify and Rap City for free. Um, for me, I like I like Spotify and Groove Shark. Um, links for those uh, will be down in the description below, which isn't really hard to find. Um, also, I use uh, Amazon Prime Music, which is new. Like they mentioned in this article here, that uh, it was debuted last week. The Prime Music. Um, and one big thing I want to talk about Amazon Prime is that not only do you get Amazon uh, Prime Music, but you also get two free days shipping on any product on Amazon, basically, as long as it's uh, Prime eligible. And you also get Amazon Instant Video, which is kind of like Netflix. Um, and some can argue better than Netflix. So I would rather subscribe and pay for Amazon Prime because I would get free music, I would get two day shipping on products. And I would get this, the streaming as well as the audiobooks. So to have to subscribe for YouTube in order to listen to certain uh, certain music is kind of ridiculous. And it's funny that they announced this now that Amazon announced their Prime Music. Um, one argument I have about YouTube is I hope it doesn't become like uh, like a cable provider um, because if it does, I will no longer be uh, interested in YouTube or producing videos on YouTube or even watching YouTube. Because having to pay for something like YouTube, um, especially the music and stuff, that's going to lose a lot of people on YouTube. A lot of people aren't going to be interested in going to YouTube for content, um, entertainment. So, you know, they need to watch themselves with that because everyone knows YouTube as free content, you know, provider. They provide free content. You can create content for free. And now you have to subscribe in order to, uh, in order to listen to music. And also you have to, I guess... Uh, agree to their uh, their contract or whatever their their streaming service or whatever um, in order to put your music on there. Um, but most of this, most of the indie music that you'll see, that's going to be taken down if they don't agree to the uh, the service here. 
um, that YouTube is is you know wanting them to agree to. So yeah, this kind of this kind of sucks because I listen to a lot of dubstep um, on on YouTube, which is mostly you know independent uh, artists and independent, independent record labels. Um, and uh, also to note that you can download videos too. There's a uh, a cool little um, uh, freaking uh, add-on for Firefox that allows you to download videos. So how will they get around that? Um, who knows? We're, we're going to have to see in the next few days once they start taking down these videos and uh, once the uh, service debuts this, this summer, actually. So that is YouTube's Music Pass. It debuts this summer. However, they're going to start taking down um, record labels and, and artists uh, that don't agree to YouTube's um, terms. So that's kind of, that kind of sucks, really. Kind of sucks. But like I said, if YouTube becomes more and more like a cable TV uh, service, like a cable TV provider like Time Warner or uh, DirecTV, yeah, there's going to be a lot of people shying away from that and probably going to Vimeo or another uh, content website. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, they didn't do this article too good, so I should have uh, I should have copied it down into like a notepad and edited it or whatever. Uh, but the uh, articles are in the links down in the description. So you can check out them if you want to read more on the topic because they do provide a lot more. However, the articles aren't re written really well. Um, for a minute there, I thought I wrote it because the way they were they were writing stuff and putting it together. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's my little rant on the YouTube uh, YouTube Music Pass service that's going to be launched this summer, which kind of sucks. I really hate that. Feel bad for all the uh, the indie labels out there because. That's one way of getting their content out there is allowing to upload free music to YouTube and allowing people to watch that. And now they're going to have to accept these terms of, of licensing or whatever. And now the people that are going to want to download these, uh, download these uh, artists and musics and albums are, um, are going to have to subscribe or pay, which is stupid. <sighs> I feel bad for YouTube because it seems like it's going downhill. And a few, like about a year ago, I think one of my friends was talking about. We were discussing, you know, if uh, YouTube ever ever goes away, what's going to happen? You know, how are we going to? What are all of our videos, all of our content? And not only that, but the people that uh, is basically YouTube is basically their main job. What's going to happen? And I don't know. It looks pretty scary. It might happen within a few years if YouTube keeps doing what they're doing, adding on this bullshit terms of service and licensing. <laughs> and I'm up uploading this video uh, to YouTube. Wow, and I'm talking bad about YouTube. They're probably not. They're probably gonna not allow me to have uh, views or whatever. They're probably gonna uh, hide hide my my little video here. But I don't care. You know, freedom of speech. If I want to talk talk about a service the way the way I am, I will. Who cares? That's what news in general is all about. All right, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully we can get Cole back on here in our uh, weekly shows that we do because. Uh, we have been gone quite a while, um, well, the both of us, you know, in our uh, weekly shows. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, my eyes just watering for some reason. I'm crying because YouTube is blocking indie music now. No, I'm just kidding. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Peace out.